Uh, yeah, I'm Simon and I study physics at TU Graz. And yeah, I'm right now at uh, Karl Leuven, uh, that's uh, in Belgium near Brussels, so maybe 20 minutes, 20 minute ride at Crane. Uh, yeah, I'm here together with Maria, uh, who, uh, who has told you something about Malaysia. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions uh, in between, just interrupt me or if I should focus on a specific topic or if you're interested in some special questions, just ask. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, start a little uh, with some words on the planning. So I started planning um, yeah, one year ago approximately or a little bit more than one year ago. So um, last March and at the first glance it was yeah re not not really easy to get an overview so because there are so there's so much information at the very beginning uh, but I just uh, want to encourage you to do it step by step and if you do so it yeah it will go quite quite easy uh, and you will get always an um, advice if you need, or you can just ask for it and somebody will help you. So even if it's very much at first glance, it eventually will uh, will go quite easy. Uh, one thing I could or I want to uh, recommend here is um, try to find maybe one or even more persons uh, with the same uh, destination from Theograd or from even from the uh, Unigrad, uh, and um, yeah, meet before before you leave or in the beginning of your planning period, uh, because I experienced it together with Maria that it uh, really helps if you have somebody uh, who has to do the same um, application procedure, because you can um, yeah discuss any unclear points or you can remind each other about uh, the next deadlines and that really helped and it gives also some security for, for each other to um, yeah just um, yeah just have additional uh, additional security don't miss to, to not miss any line uh, deadline uh, yeah that's that's about the planning uh, and uh, the next point I experienced is that I really can recommend to uh, arrive one at least one week earlier uh, before everything uh, starts because uh, it, uh, it's quite nice if you have enough time to uh, settle settle down in your new accommodation and yeah there are a lot of things to organize in the first few days so we we arrived already in the beginning of uh, February the academic year started one and a half week later, and so we uh, had time to um, um, organize a bicycle to uh, get used to your new environment and so on. And I guess even if you're going outside of Europe, you might have to organize many more things like uh, maybe a new bank account or a um, contract for your mobile phone. So. Yeah, just consider it, consider it already during planning uh, that you have at least one additional week in, in the beginning. And maybe just a quick yeah. question in between, because you already mentioned accommodation. Um, was that something that you had to organize prior to getting there or did you look for it when you arrived? Just maybe give us a quick. Um, I, I guess it's very different um, depending on the destination here in Leuven. It was not that easy. Uh, it, I think it was uh, they, they wrote to us that it was also due to the corona situation because a, a, lot, a lot of students uh, cancelled their stay in the previous years or postponed it to this semester. So um, yeah, the, the uh, available apartments were a little bit of kind of over, not overbooked but uh, very high demand for it. Uh, but we um, applied for uh, three residents and we finally got uh, luckily one of, of one of them uh, but yeah it it's not not so easy so yeah the earlier the better I would say uh, because if you don't get any of the official student uh, student accommodations 
you have to search for something on the private market and that yeah is usually more expensive and yeah as always if, if, the more time you have for it the, the easier and the cheaper finally it will be great point thank you okay uh yeah then the next point i wanted to mention was the first Okay, I talked about the first weeks. Uh, here, I just wanted to add, uh, try to attend all the welcome activities. I guess all the university are offering at least some activities and it's a lot of information the first week, uh, but it's, it's quite helpful. And you also get into touch with your um, future fellow students and yeah, try to, to get, get into contact with as many uh, students as possible possible yeah the second part i wanted to talk about is um how to choose your courses um this is something i must admit i underestimated maybe a little bit uh, still it, it worked uh, worked out really fine uh, but i would really recommend to uh, to take your time for uh, choosing uh, or looking up your courses carefully and doing a good good decision for it so i would do it uh, already from the very beginning um, there are usually a lot of or um, full full information available about the courses uh, from from the university itself uh, yeah as, as usually online uh, and what i would advise is also to look for some yeah student perspective uh, here in Leuven, there is kind of a Wikipedia for all co courses where the courses and uh, the associated workload is described and even, yeah, a little bit kind of a rating, uh, how easy or difficult the course is. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely have a careful look at, uh, at any information like that. And, yeah. I think there are maybe different strategies which courses you you take uh, i decided to um, go a little bit away from my my core uh, studies so in graz i studied physics here i'm only attending uh, one directly physics related course uh, so i'm doing uh, two courses about um, quality management and management and one course about renewable energy from a not a faculty and it's really a very interesting ex experience to uh yeah to have have some some different input um but maybe another one might go for uh, yeah some some topic uh, which is fee which is in the field of expertise of the university uh yeah one word about this um uh, my strategy was basically to no other way around uh, the, the best way to find out about the courses is or at least i did it to uh, uh, enroll for more courses than i actually took so i used the first week to visit all the courses i might would have uh, um, was going to take and um, then i just visited visited the first lecture had a get, got a little bit of a flavor of the course and then i decided if i, I will take or not take this course uh, so in the first lecture you have also the possibility uh, to ask the fellow students if this is a hard course or a, a not so difficult course and so i first enrolled for about 40 ects and then i cancelled half of it so this this works out quite okay and it's also easier from the learning agreement side to to cancel it afterwards than adding another course okay maybe one or if if there's any question maybe just uh let's uh, another question kind of like to how is it um kind of like how's the community do you get in touch a lot with local students or is it more kind of like that you're in an international bubble like jakob talked about how is it in kauder then um 
yeah, that fits very well to my last point I wanted to mention. Uh, basically, there are a lot, there are a lot of uh, international students uh, in Löwen, I think more than 10,000. Uh, but I would really recommend to um, get into ca contact with uh, local students uh, because if you're always inside your Erasmus or uh, exchange bubble, it's nice for partying and so on, but I would say you miss something if you don't move outside the bubble. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, uh, one quite nice thing I I'm do is a tan tandem uh, project. So I meet once a week for about two hours with a um, local student here in, uh, from Leuven and he's studying German. So we just meet up every week and yeah, he's uh, practicing his German for two hours and I'm getting first-hand uh, traveling ex experience and recommendations for Belgium and yeah, uh, inf information about politics, about the uh, school system in Belgium, about uh, um, yeah, conflicts in Belgium and so on. So this is something I would not want to miss and so if there's the opportunity for something like that I definitely recommend to, to do it and yeah if not I think there's always the possibility to get in, into touch with the local students as well I mean they told us that the Belgium are not so open-minded but um, as I'm the, the experience I made was that if you yeah, just ask somebody in your lecture or something like that. Everybody's, yeah, will will talk to you, <laughs> at least. Sounds yeah. great. Great. Thanks, Simon. Do you have anything, any last words that you would like to share with students that would like to go abroad in the future? Any words of wisdom? Um, yeah, maybe one final recommendation um, is you use the time for for traveling as well if you can. So. And that's maybe as well one planning aspect. Uh, I uh, organized my schedule in that way that I always have a free Friday. So this enables you to do three day weekend trips. It's not really necessary here in Belgium because everything is just two hours away, uh, either Paris or Amsterdam or uh, London. Uh, yeah, but you use used to travel in inside and around and in the surrounding countries. Great tip for the last statement. Thank you, Simon, for taking the time out of your schedule.